welcome to my channel Entre Lanas Designs. I am Jimena and today I am going to show you how is that you do the technique of class weft in the rigid heddle loom. The technique of class weft is basically when you have two colors of yarn and you clasp them like this. I'm going to show you some examples so you understand what it is. So in this case it's two colors as you can see this way and you connect them as you wish. In this case, I made the, the peaks, and um, but you can do the design you want. There's another example here of also connected, two colors connected and making the peaks too. I kind of like the, how it looks with the peaks. And you can do class weft. So, so far I've worked with class weft with two, three, and four colors. I've never done more than that. Um, so I'm going to show you one that I did with three three colors that it was not as successful as I wanted, but I, I took it as a learning experience. And in this case, what I did was, so here I tried to do, I don't even know what I tried to do. I think I, what I tried to do is just to create a, a shape, a rectangular shape in the center. And then what I did here were the the zigzag of the the third the color in, in the middle that was you know combining with the two on on each side. I I'm going to show you now an example of four colors which takes more time. Um, it is more elaborated, but it it looks really beautiful. So this was a shawl I made, and um, in in this case I used four different colors. So I used the the brown and the um, gray, the gray connected to the variegated and the variegated connected to the white. So you can see um, it looks really nice, really cool effect, uh, but obviously it takes more time. So before we start, uh, I start telling you how is that you do the class weft. There are certain um, things that are important to take into consideration before you start. Um, the first thing I would say is that it's the best thing, the effect you will get it when you choose two yarns that have um, contrasting colors or co colors that really, you know, stand out one with the other. Um, you know, like this, the yellow and the orange or the pink and the other, the other, the variegated one. Because when you use uh, yarns that are very similar, then it kind of you probably won't see it as best as possible. Normally what I've done is I use a solid color for one side and then a variegated um, on the other side. That's an, an important thing. Then another important thing is that you have to try to choose yarns that are the same size. So I'm going to tell you that um, one time I was uh, creating a piece, it was a ruana, so it was two pieces, like two shawls then that connected. And I started weaving it and I realized there's something wrong here. It's like really uneven. Um, and then all of a sudden I realized the problem was that I was using on one side uh, a yarn that was like a bulky yarn, uh, not super bulky, but thicker. And on the other side, one much thinner. And what happened every time I, I beat with a um, with the heddle, then it would go like this, this, this. So um, I remember that um, I was I was talking to my mom that moment and, and sharing with her what I was doing. And she said something that was so obvious. I didn't know why I didn't realize that before. She said, what you need to do is change. So if you have the variegated on this side first, just put it on the other side. So it ended up being a really nice piece. I'm going to show you. I'm going to try to add a picture. I don't have that piece anymore. There's someone enjoying that, uh, I hope, a lot. But what I did was I was alternating the color. So I was having the, the thick yarn on one side first until a certain point, and then I moved it to the other side, and then it created a really nice effect too. But it was more or less like it was one of those things that you try to fix the problem and then you create something that maybe was not what you wanted, but it ended up being nice too. Mm -hmm. 
another way to solve that problem if you realize before you start because the problem with that was that I realized that when I was already in the middle of it and I was not going to do it undo it so is that for example in this case here so this the pink yarn was super thin I am I do apologize I really don't know the, all the names of the different ones but this was was really thin and this one on this side was not that thin so what did I do I doubled this one so if you see there you can see that um, there's actually four in each one because it's one two one two yeah Good. So those those were things that I wanted to tell you before I started showing you how is that you do the class weft. So follow me. I'm going to show you. This is how you start. So first of all, I want to say that at the beginning, normally I would do some rows with one of the colors. Um, sometimes I do one color at the beginning and one the other color at the end. I like having a base um, even. Uh, color here for my hem stitching it's not necessary that you do that you can start right away with a class weft but I feel better doing it this way so that's how I'm going to show you then you have the two colors so one color is going to be on your shuttle and if you're right-handed you will have it on the right hand and the other color it's going to be in a basket or a bag or a paper bag and um, I normally have it this way or in a ball and if I have it in this way I always pull from the center so you have the other color there on the floor and you just get uh, the tail of it at the beginning the first time you when you start it takes a little more attention but then it's really gets into something like automatic so um, heddle down you are going to um, so this this is another thing that happens now and then you um, every now and then you have to put the yarn back on the sh on the shuttle because it gets longer and longer. So you um, pass the shuttle on the other side, and with the other yarn, you pass it over it. Yeah, so it it gets connected, and without beating, you send the shuttle to the right side again. To the where, where it started and then you have here the, the two yarns are clasped here and you are going to pull and make sure you put it wherever you want here here wherever you want it to start yeah and uh, better if you put it in this kind of uh, angle so when you beat it's even and then you beat so now they are connected here and I have here the little tail of the beginning of the yarn and I'm going to show you what I do now to hide it uh, in the second time. Um, a very important thing when you're doing class weft is always check your um, edges because you can easily start pulling in and start doing this. So you always check your edges and make sure that it, is, um, it stays where it's just has to be so now before I went down with my head now I'm gonna go up and I will pass the shuttle again and now that it's connected this thing is connected what you will do is you will have always this yarn like in your hand here and you put it over the shuttle and just pull make sure you're not pulling too much on this side just keep it in the side and send it again to where you started and now holding both holding it from this um, you pick here so it doesn't pull either and you just put it wherever you want the design to be so I'm making sure my edges are still in the same place and not pull inside and there you have the second one Oops, I forgot something. <laughs> so while you are here, you want to try to, before I do that, I want to try to hide the end of the, the beginning. So I'm going to hide it there. 
and I can hide it all the way or I can leave a little tail coming out and then I will cut it at the end. So there it is. Now I uh, eat. Sometimes this happens. That is like it's not um, it's sticking out. So you just pull from both of them and it gets even. So now I'm going to do it again down. So I send the shuttle. I'm grabbing as as I am sending the shuttle to the other side, I'm already grabbing the the yarn on the left side with my hand and I just put it on there. I make sure it's in the right place on this side and now I send it back. And I holding here, I decide where I want my peak to be. And then I beat. Now I'm going to do it once one more time. So um, you will see in a little while the effect that this is creating. So let me put it here. And always make sure that you're not pulling neither from the right side nor from the left side. Pass it back, grab here, and then you just decide where it is that I'm going to leave it and beat. And so you go. At the beginning here, it looks as it's not very, it, it, it looked as if it wasn't very, it was too much on this left. So actually it was the tail that was not in the right position. So I just pull and it now it looks better. So here you can see how it's starting to form the design. So I pass, go over it and touch it there, pass it to the side. Continue here, pass, see how it's starting to look really cool, the peaks. And um, if you feel really adventurous and you want to try really different things right from the beginning, you can decide to start right away the first time you do it, like a certain shape. So you want to, you want the peak always to be in the same spot, so it creates a, a even edge, for example. So then you 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 decide that it's going to be like that. So the next one is going to be exactly in the same spot. And you're going to leave it there. Make sure the sides are not. And beat. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try again. Something that's making noise here. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to. I I'm going to create a, a, a straight edge here, so you see how it goes. How it can look like. I'm doing it always in the same spot. Personally, what I do is um, I kind of do it in the moment. <laughs> and um, I do like the uneven edges better than just form things. But you, I've seen people doing like triangles in the center or even circles or rectangles or zigzags as I showed you before. So you do that. That's your creativity. So see how it goes here. It is 
very even yeah but guess what i don't like that so i'm going to undo it so <laughs> i'm going to and undo it because i like the peaks so um i think more or less these are the basic things about class weft there's not much to it it sounds really complicated or like scary oh my god will i do this or not but actually it's pretty simple and it's really fun to work with it and um to create different things and to try different things so i encourage you to do that and also if you have questions if you, after watching the video, you there's things that you don't understand, please feel free to leave a comment with a, with your question, and I will I receive notifications every time someone writes a comment, so I will um, try to answer your questions as the best as I can, and um, and then maybe. Mm, maybe uh, all your questions make up for another video so i can try again so my idea is to make another video um to show you how you do with more than one color so, so this is the class weft of one two colors and i want to show you how you do with three or how you do with four which is fun so i'm going to continue weaving a little more so you can see more how it goes and um, after that and maybe something comes to mind that i needed to say to you and uh, i will say it otherwise just enjoy <laughs> and uh, try show me what you did and now that i'm here i am telling you if you follow me here on youtube and um you should know that you can also find me in Instagram, uh, the same name, Entre Lanas Designs. And uh, you can also visit my website, entrelanasdesigns.com. And I would love to hear from you if there's certain, uh, if there are things about um, weaving that you would like me to make a video of. Um, I will be happy to hear from you and you give me ideas of what to show. Um, in case you haven't seen that yet, in, if you go to my channel, there are, um, I have a bunch of videos, uh, one about hem stitching, how you do hem stitching, another one about um, decorative bands, so how you do a, a band in your weaving with different uh, designs. Another that has been also, that one, the one about the, the band uh, design is the one that everybody loves <laughs> and then there's another one about how to join two pieces uh, to create a ruana okay so i welcome your ideas whatever you think um, could be useful